Imagine, if you will, a territory almost as large as all of the rest of New England put together. Or if you will, you will have some idea of the size of the extreme northeastern state in this land of ours, the Pine Tree State, the state of Maine. Maine has a diversity of scenery to be found few places in the world. It is a region of rugged timberlands, of cool, inviting lakes. It is a land of quiet villages, radiating the charm that is New England, of historic forts, monuments to the pioneers who came to establish themselves on the first frontiers of America, and of a rock-bound coastline known throughout the world. The capital of the state is Augusta. The history and course of development of Augusta have been shaped by the Kennebec River, for it is this river which furnishes the power for Augusta's industries and provides an important artery of transportation. The industrial heart of Maine is at the twin cities Lewiston and Auburn. Lewiston is primarily one of Maine's most important textile manufacturing centers, while Auburn has more than a score of factories which turn out boots and shoes, the making of which ranks second in the state's industrial picture. The largest city in the state of Maine is Portland. Portland is the birthplace of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and is the city the famous poet remembered wistfully as the beautiful town that is seated by the sea. For it is from the sea that Portland derives its most important industry, fishing. An industry which provides a livelihood for almost one-tenth of the state's total population. A community where commerce, industry, and education are found in well-balanced proportion is Brunswick. Here is Bowdoin College, with a history extending over more than 150 years, and which numbers such famous alumni as Hawthorne, Longfellow, and Franklin Pierce, 14th President of the United States. Twenty-three miles up the Penobscot River, at the head of Tidewater, is the city of Bangor. Bangor is Maine's third largest city, and this statue to the loggers is a reminder that the state's first industries are those associated with lumbering. We are now on the campus of the University of Maine at Orono. Famous, among other things, for its rousing Stein song, it has an outstanding agricultural college and maintains a number of experimental farms. Agriculture has been important in the state of Maine since earliest days. Maine raises most of its own food and most Maine farmers till their own land, taking great pride in handing it down from one generation to the next. One of the state's most important seasonal crops is blueberries. But all year round, the Maine farmer can depend on a steady income from his dairy products, his milk, cream, and cheese. The raising of poultry and production of eggs is important business too, accounting for more than $20 million of annual income. The state's most important crop is potatoes. Because of special fitness of soil and climate, potatoes are raised in nearly every section of the state, particularly in Aroostook County. More bushels of potatoes are grown in Maine than in any other state, and Maine produces over 15% of all the potatoes raised in the entire country. If you're interested in dogs, and who isn't, here's a lapful of Chinook among the friendliest citizens of all dogdom. And incidentally, this gentleman is Perry Green, the only breeder of Chinooks in the world. 
shipbuilding in Maine has had a long and distinguished history. For almost 200 years, Maine has been one of the principal shipbuilding areas of North America, turning out practically every known type of craft. This building of ships is associated with the most important of all of Maine's industries, lumbering. Hey, what's this? Shaving with an axe? Better take it easy there, mister. Yes, lumbering has long been Maine's first industry and the foundation for numerous related industries. Each year, tens of thousands of board feet are floated downriver to factories at such cities as Winslow, Millinocket, Woodland, and Rumford, where most of the nation's pulp and paper are produced. Maine is a spacious state, uncrowded and unspoiled. Her great natural beauty, ideal climate, and boundless hospitality are but some of the reasons why she has come to be known as the land of remembered vacations. With almost 2,500 lakes and twice as many rivers and streams, Maine is indeed a fisherman's paradise. Her forests, abounding in deer and moose, are meccas for the hunter. A large percentage of the visitors to Maine are attracted to her magnificent coastline, to Bar Harbor, the center of the social and commercial life on Mount Desert Island. It's Maine in the wintertime, too. For nature was kind to Maine, planning her topography well, offering long slopes for those who thrill to the feel of skis over fine snow. With her rugged beauty and rock-bound coast, Maine offers opportunities which ever attract agriculturalists, industrialists, and vacationist alike. Maine must be visited to be enjoyed. And when you do, you'll understand why she is indeed the land of remembered vacations in this land of ours.